was my introduction. Can you say that again louder? What was your reflection? Um, in my opinion, even though they have differences, they are both really entertaining and fun to watch or read. It's a good reflection. How are you guys doing over here? Alright, where are you guys at? Are you guys done already? Really? I like the movie Victim Mighty, but I still... I have discovered that there are many differences between the book Freak, the Mighty, and the movie The Mighty. Period, period, period. There should be a period there. So that would be your introduction. The next sentence would be your claim. Read the next part. Some differences include the setting. Okay, so is there a period there then? Yeah. Okay, so that's your claim. Some differences include the setting, or you could say some differences are the setting. But because you're only giving me one, right? You're only giving me one difference, I would probably say, instead of saying some, because some implies more than one, I'd probably change it to one difference is the setting. All right, so you have your claim. Good. Um, what score do you give yourself? Five. Some perfect writing, huh? Um, so if I was to ask you for your claim, could you give me your claim? Yeah, my claim. Um, some of the differences include one. Okay. Um, and how about you over here, Riley? Some differences the movie, the Okay, make sure you're reading. I want to hear exactly what you wrote. Did you use the word setting? Because those things describe the setting. Did you include the word setting? So I'd give you a half a point for your claim because you, you're you're talking about the setting, but you don't come out and say one of the differences is the setting. All right, we want to make sure we use that literary elements vocab. Okay, so you guys are done? All right, what'd you guys give yourself for your writing? I got a four. Four, okay. Four What did you lose your point for? What'd you take your point away for? Uh, my reflection and my... Okay, so you took a half a point off for your reflection, half a point off for your mechanics. So that's what you still need to work on. How about you? What'd you lose your half point for? The conclusions. We don't do conclusions. We do reflections. The claim. Let me hear your claim. Can I hear your claim? I'll tell you what I would give you. Some differences include the plot. Well, because you only listed one, right? You only gave me one if plot. You probably said saying some, you would probably just say one. One difference is the plot. Um, I think I'd probably give you the full point for that. For if you wrote one difference is the plot. Um, cause that's the claim. Your claim should be short, sweet, to the point. Then your evidence should explain how is the plot different. How is the plot different? Does that make sense? Yes. Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home How's it going over here? Whose writing are you evaluating first? Kinsley's? Alright. When I was sitting at my table, I evaluated on introduction my claim. See, don't you like color coding? That's kind. Of, I love it. Uh huh. That's why I do that with all of my. Who's writing? Are you evaluating first? Trevor's. Okay, yeah. Do one at a time so you can focus on Trevor's writing first, and then in the future, hey Trev, don't indent those. Okay. Make sure all your writing lines up right along your left hand edge. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Did you already do Trevor's? Uh, yes. Trevor, what did you put? What did you guys score yourself? All right, two out of five. Thing that you lost points on. Okay. So you got to you got to work on that. Okay. All right, you're gonna evaluate Braden's now. All right, Abby, what'd you score yourself? Um, I got. Okay, you gave yourself a five. 
So my question is, how many sentences of evidence would you say you have? Because I think evidence is the hardest part. You have three or four? All right, I ask you at some point when you have time, count them up, because you have one for your intro, one for your claim, one for your reflection. But then it's like that evidence part, you, you know, you want more than one sentence, you know, two, three sentences, really to get a lot of evidence. What was the, uh, what was your claim? Because this was your similarities paragraph, correct? What was your claim? Read me your sentence for your claim. That's your claim? All right, so you guys are both done, right? Mm -hmm. Why, what'd you end up getting as a score? Uh, four and a half. Four and a half, where'd you lose your half point? Um, the reflection. Okay, if I, let me hear your reflection. Let me hear it. Um, in my opinion, the book and the movie are pretty similar. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, July needs a cap because it's proper now. Yeah. Oh, it's similar. Is it supposed to be similar? Yeah, that was my guess. Is it only like, are we only able to give a half point? You can. You can give it. You can give one point or a full point or the half point. Read it again. I'll give you a one point. There's only that one spelling, but you did action. And what did you struggle with? I struggled with the evidence. I see you gave yourself zero for evidence. Does that mean you have no evidence? <laughs> who's, um, who's writing are you evaluating first? What's that? Hunter is going first? <laughs> Whose writing are you guys evaluating first? Okay, so you're doing yours first? Okay, so you guys are doing, um, you're doing Kellen's first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, shouldn't the M and the be capitalized too? Because it's a shame of a pond. It's not a proper noun though. It's just a mill pond. How's it going over here? Good. Um, who's, who's writing are you guys evaluating right now? Already? That was quick. Um, what'd you give yourself as a score? Four. Four? Okay. Did you find yours, Chloe? Mm -hmm. All right, what's your claim? One similarity between the book and the movie is the plot. Okay. Oh, it's the characters. Okay, so you went with the plot and you went with the characters. Okay, what'd you give yourself for that as a score? Did you give yourself a full point? Oh, yeah, I got one. Yeah, straightforward and to the point. Okay, um, did you have a reflection? Should be your last sentence. Okay. You gave yourself a full point for that? Yeah. I would probably give yourself a full point as well. Okay. Um, if you guys are done, I'm going to go around the room, check in with a couple other groups, and then we'll get back to our seats in a minute, okay? The groups are finishing up. How are you guys? At, and where are you at? Um, we're online now. Okay. What'd you end up getting on your writing? 4.5. 4.5, and now you guys are working over there. How are you guys doing over here? Doing good. All right. Um, several groups are getting done. How are you guys doing? We're doing okay. Okay. So, have you evaluated your writing yet? Yes. Where are your scores? Did you write them down? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of What'd you get out of five? I got a four. Four out of five? Yes. What did you take a point off for? My writing could have been new. So, your, is it was your mechanics? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have a reflection? Yes. Can I hear it? It's... It should be your last sentence. My last sentence. You find your last sentence, that should be your reflection. The opinion part? Yeah. So, throughout my opinion, I think between the book, Freak the Mighty, and the movie The Mighty, I think Tony D and his game of Drew's to mess up. <clears throat> okay. I agree with that opinion. Um, what did you give yourself as a reflection? What, what, how many points did you give yourself for that? I would probably give myself a 
What did you give yourself down here? Did you give yourself a full point? Yeah. Okay. I'd probably, you want my opinion? Yeah. I'd probably give you a half on that. You want to know why? Because overall, we're writing about the book and the movie and how they're the same and how they're different. Yeah. And you reflected on one of the characters, Tony D. Yeah. So your reflection, it doesn't really reflect back on the main idea of the writing. So you want you want your reflection. Think, keep in mind, I'm I'm writing a comparison between the book and the movie. Yes. While I agree with your opinion, yes. it's not the point of the writing. The point of the writing is to compare a book and the the movie. Does that make sense? Yeah. You have a reflection. Mm -hmm. It's a good reflection. It was a little off target. So I'd probably give you a half point. Yeah. Okay, that's my own opinion. Were you able to finish your writing, your evaluation? Okay, I think a lot of people are pretty much done.